here that is dangerous, we're actually going to ask the both of them questions in a panel kind of format on uh, catching stripers. How many of you caught stripers today out in the Delta? Half of you are lying, so the rest of you probably told the truth. Yeah, it's been tough. You can lie to them or you can tell them that they can catch big fish. I'm not, I, I don't, when I tell, when I do seminars, I don't lie. You can't stand up here and get eye contact with people that lie to them. You can't. I'm not a politician. If I was a politician, I could. <laughs> Just gotta look at the results from the other day, right? <laughs> but when I do my seminars, I spill my guts. If somebody's, if somebody's cool enough to come to a seminar or come to the Sims function or something like that, if I'm at the ISC show, if I'm at the old school cow palace, if I go to a club, if somebody comes to listen to you talk, I, I treat them with the respect that I used to go to Rod, Rich Tauber and, and uh, John Walton from Walton's Pond. If I go listen to somebody talk and tell me about fishing, lay it on me, man. But if you pull up to me on the river on the boat, these like guys in other boats, they're the enemy. I don't like them at all. I don't want them anywhere near me. I, want, I will run the other way, especially if I recognize you and I know. Say, well, well considering I run say? into you at every one of the spots, I'm like, oh, Jesus, I'm watching every binoculars. Okay, you know, it's like every day we run. I'm telling you. You know, we can stand up here, we can talk about big stripers and this and that. And, um, the, the number one thing with, with chasing big stripers is, are you built for it here? Are you built for it here? We all want to see it. We all want to watch it go down. We all want to be eight feet away from watching it go down. That's the best seat in the house. Keep it to the right. You got a good one on you. You got a good one. We're going to reel, Ryan. Did you get her? Nice, oh, Ryan! Oh. Nice, Ryan! But you got to put yourself in that position, and the only way you're going to really do that is lots and lots of time not getting bit in big fish striper situations. Because that preps you for it. And you got, you know, a lot of guys, in, in, you, you got your pole dancer now. Pole dancer's a major player in the big fish game. Oh, did she get it? Um, some of the crease flies, some of the guys who caught some really nice fish on the crease fly uh, the last couple years with me. Um, but uh, uh, that pole dancer is a game changer. But it's you also got to be able to physically oh, handle that right and there. throwing for four hours, five hours, six hours, and not getting bit. Oh, oh and staying right with it, focus right now. Especially on a day like this right here when it goes pancake flat pop. Our window oh. today was 1037 to 1110. 1037 to 1110, after that it was over. You are not going to catch a fish. We had to weigh in at 2 o'clock. We had to be back at 2 o'clock with our results. That's my window. That's it. It's over. We, are there. we got no shot today at getting a fish over 10 pounds after that window was closed. And then my guy jerked up a topwater bait away from a fish that was in the mid-teens. We watched her try to get, he, anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I got another question. All right, uh, what type of water are you looking for when targeting dry and stripers? Like, what, what water depth, current, no current, weed line, rock walls, trees, what, what type uh, of water? I'll ask, uh, I'll ask you first, Bob. My favorite, my favorite big striper depth is Oh, did she get it? Yeah, are you on? I am on. That is awesome. That is awesome, dude. <laughs> yeah. After all this, <laughs> after a speech that I'm just torturing you, <laughs> now I'm just delivering that is money. Good. Money in the bank. <laughs> oh. That is Let's do this. Don't whip out on me. Oh, yeah. Top water with Bobby Barry. Beautiful. I highly recommend it.